Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from the Body Fit Solution here on Celebrating Act 2. We're at Short and Sweet where I show you one exercise and one nutritional tip, and that's to keep you healthy and strong. So today we're going to work on the back body. We're going to work on muscles that work from the back of the, the end of the skull all the way to the back of the knees. We're going to particularly focus on these three muscles that go down the back, and they help us flex the torso and the neck and rotate. Okay, and these muscles help you stay up nice and tall, keep that posture really in good form, help that core really a good effective way to work on those obliques and keep you stable. And that makes you able to control your movements so anything coming at you, you can bounce right back. So let's get going. Now we're going to lay on our stomachs when we're doing this exercise. And you're going to use both arms and legs, okay? So that's my little guy growling. Don't pay any attention to him. Panda, you're going to have to be quiet. Just trying to get him to settle down. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come down onto our bellies. Our arms and legs are extended and straight. Our palms are on the ground. Our toes are on the ground. Now you want to keep your legs straight and your arms straight. We're going to push our hips into the ground and we're going to lift alternating arm and opposite leg. Opposite arm and leg lift. You're going to lift with the back of that heart center and squeeze those glutes. Breathing, breathing. There you go. Now, once you get used to doing this, we're going to pick up the pace. All right? Good. Now, I don't want you to rock from side to side. Rather keep it nice and straight. Good job. All right. And we just roll back into a nice little child's pose. Stretch that back and then come on up. And that was a good job, guys. Now, our nutritional tip today is all about fiber. We need to eat much more fiber. You know, us in the United States only get about 15 grams a day. That won't do. We need anywhere from 25 to 30 grams a day of fiber. So we've got some making up to do. Now there are two types of fiber, insoluble and soluble type. Now both of those have benefits for us, but we really want to look for more insoluble fiber. Now ways that you can get it is to uh, get some seeds, like flax seeds or um, hemp seeds or chia seeds. You can grind those guys up and sprinkle them on your salads or your soups or your cereals. You can also grate carrots and put those in your salad. You can have fruits and vegetables full of fiber. Now you don't want to eat um, eat whole fruit. Let me say that again. You want to eat whole fruit. You don't want to drink your fruit, right? Because that has no fiber and lots of calories. Now dried fruit has a lot of fiber in it and a lot of calories too. So you want to keep that down. But you can put some dried fruit into your baked goods. It's a wonderful way of uh, getting fiber in and really yummy too. So anyways, there are a lot of ways, lots of fruits and vegetables have lots of fibers in them. I want you to really look for those and get that fiber in there to help you keep your cholesterol down, keep your blood sugar down, help clean out that intestinal tract. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, now you know why I do this work. I do this work so that you have a body that moves well, looks well, and feels good. So come back and see us next time at Celebrating Act 2. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.